Oh yeah, they got you pegged as a loser, bro. They got you pegged as a loser, sis. So I know the goal is to get back, uh, but Colorado is in the way. You know, you have Deion Sanders, all this hype about them, and you know, you guys definitely have a showdown coming up September the second. Uh, that we just try to be the best thing we can and be everything we can, but. Our, our coaches, our coach made a good point, and our team has been made a good point to not be focusing on the uh, bye. It just, it, it, our coaches and our all senior workouts is trying to build us, from, trying to build us, trying to build our discipline, trying to build leadership. And we haven't focused any team. He don't, he don't mention any teams. We don't, we don't care about anybody that's not us. But what they fail to realize is that your internal will is strong and still, and even if the playing field is not even, you will never surrender until there is absolutely no air left in your lungs. See, they didn't realize that every setback, they didn't realize that every bad day, they didn't realize that every sad day, they didn't realize that every so-called failure, disaster, missed opportunity or tragedy was just a building block of strategy. And the agony, the pain, the heartache, the misery was put in place to give you the strength to rewrite history. Therefore, it should be no mystery when you make a special delivery to the doorsteps of victory. See, once again, my friend, some of you out there are still in the dark. And I get it. You need a boost. You need a spark. So let this serve as your spark to help bring you out of the dark because I need you to be hungry like a shark. So please, turn the lights on when I'm talking to you because I said they didn't realize that every setback of your life, they didn't realize that every bad day of your life, they didn't realize that every sad day of your life, they didn't realize that every so-called failure, disaster, missed opportunity, a tragedy was just a building block of strategy and the agony, the pain, the heartache, the misery was put in place to give you the strength to rewrite history. Therefore, it should be no mystery when you make a special delivery to the doorsteps of victory. Because you have been patiently waiting for this moment, cultivating and calculating, using the pain of your life to derive the energy from what was once a deprived and wasted synergy because your own worst enemy has always been you. But no longer. The days that used to be sad and blue are now giving way to the days of the new you that has grown and grew to new heights and clear skies that are sunny and blue. You made the choice to clear your old canvas. And with a fresh set of mental paintbrushes, you drew your desired outcome and took the necessary steps to make sure it came true. For so long, you've known you had an inner beast inside. But you were scared to bother. For so long, you've known you had an inner beast inside, but you were scared to bother it. That's just like planting a seed and then never watering it. Never making sure it's provided with exposure to sunlight, basically just squandering it. But that version of you no longer exists. Because from the depths of your inner soul comes your inner beast and you are now honoring it. That seed that was planted in your soul has been patient. That seed that was planted in your heart has been laying low for the perfect time. That seed that was planted in your spirit has been storing energy. That seed that was planted in your mental has been digesting and processing. And when all of these forces came together, they created the perfect storm that set the stage for your inner beast to be born. That set the stage for your inner beast to take form. That set the stage for your inner beast to transform. That set the stage for your inner beast to break through and swarm like a large group of bees. And now you're ready to sting anyone that stands between you and the stamp of greatness needed to make your successful transformation official. So if you have any doubts, let them fizzle. Because now you're locked in on your target like a missile. <laughs> Wait a minute. Make that a hit.
heat-seeking missile because you're so hot that you sizzle and your vision is so clear that it's crystal. You now realize that any limitations you ever placed on yourself were always, always, always empty. So many of us experience an extended pregnancy as it relates to giving birth to our dreams, our gifts, our true self-worth, and ultimately our legacy. But our inner beast is way overdue to be unleashed to the world, and thus it went from a gentle rub to a light tap, to a subtle kick, to a strong push, to a stronger kick and even a stronger push. See that desire that's telling you to get up and go do? That's your inner beast. The passion to keep pushing through, that's your inner beast. That voice in your head that's telling you to believe, that's your inner beast. That yearning you have deep inside to achieve, that's your inner beast. The mental toughness to fall down nine times and get back up ten, that's your inner beast. The resiliency to fight to the end, that's your inner beast. The heart you display to persevere through the dark days, that's your inner beast. The fear you overcame to lead and trailblaze, that's your inner beast. Listen to me. Your inner beast is waiting patiently for you to release it too. <laughs>